Hello YouTube, it's your boy King Say So and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. Jessica Post left the internet in shock after she announced that Reed had broken up with her. Now Reed did release a statement but someone asked, did the relationship end on good terms? Jessica responded, yes we prayed as we went our separate ways. Our relationship was great, he just didn't want it anymore. Which people were confused as to why what? Reed would suddenly want to break up with Jessica being that less than a year of them being together she moved across country to California to be with him. Some people yeah. were saying that they purchased a house together. Other people were saying that in several videos he was calling her his soulmate. But if she's your soulmate, why would you make her drive 30 hours back home with her sister leaving her house behind for you to stay in the house by yourself and for her to go back home to her hometown you guys rushed into being in a relationship may 22nd she reached out if you're not dating after three months you may as well cut it off that's a situation ship that you're just going to keep running in circles with so something about this situation is just not adding up and people what? are speculating that re wanted what I didn't get what he. I didn't get what he mean by this. So I need somebody please break that down in the comments. He said, "If you're not dating after three months, was I guess is he saying like if you're talking to somebody and then you're not in a full like committed relationship after three months? Is that, is that what you're talking about? If it, that's what he's saying, it still depends on you, what you've been through, the person that you're talking to, and what they what they have been through and what they're willing to commit to. Sometimes y'all probably both been through some. Three months ain't enough." Six months probably not won't it, probably won't even be enough. But then again, when you really think about it, if three months really ain't enough time, y'all probably do need to go spend some time alone apart. Because obviously you're not over what you've been through. So he might be right. If that's what he's talking about, he might be right. But that's crazy though, bro. Like she, like move to a whole other city or state or whatever. Get a place with somebody. This for a year later or some time later. Get, Less than a year or whatever for y'all to break up. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's <laughs> see, like, look. Recently, I made a post like probably like a few weeks ago, like probably a few days ago. I want, I want a relationship, but it was things like this. Even though their ne their negativity or their negative moment doesn't mean it's gonna happen to me, but it's like the way how things be moving nowadays, bro. It's like <laughs> it's like getting into a relationship. You're low key setting yourself up for failure. You're low key saying it because it's like nowadays they just don't work, bro. They just don't work. People are looking at the internet, looking at other people, looking at rappers and streamers and all the other people. It's for, I guess, validation of what a relationship should be, but it's not because they we're looking at a moment in a in a day. It's twenty four hours. You're looking at five seconds. Like look, like look at the uh like recently. Uh, Ari uh, and um, Ari and um, Moneybag Yo. She made a post saying, well, first she said she was single, and then like a next hour she said that they're married. <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Just but clout. Others are saying that he's still in love with his ex Leilani. But Reed took to social media because Just said that people were wishing harm on him. He said, I'm only going to say all this once since I didn't expect this to be brought to social media. I didn't break up with Just because there was someone else. Nobody cheated on each other. I didn't date her for clout, money, etc. I didn't make her move across the country to be with me. There was reasons why she had to move at the time, but those reasons will remain undisclosed. I was taking things slow and steady, and then before I knew it, we lived together and we weren't ready for that. I hate when people say this like they wasn't yeah. there. What was slow and steady to you? And at some point, you could to say listen you get right. your own place i'm gonna have my own place that's slow and steady but Easy. instead you knew what the fuck you was doing there have been moments exactly bro. see I, hey you said it for me man you said it I, like i said bro we are too grown for that bro we are too grown we know what our intentions are so it's like it's like when you start talking to somebody you start having like sometimes it do happen like that i don't my i don't, I don't care what, like say it like it's not it's that moment never happens where you just click with somebody and then all of a sudden y'all just together all the time. But somebody moving into your house, that happens. Y'all go get a place together. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You, you knew what was going on. You was paying to you had to sign them papers. You had to go find a place. You had to put the down paint. Come on, bro. You you could have easy hey, like we searching for a place. You know what? Let's not do that just yet. Let's not do that just yet. 
where I tried to end things because I didn't want to lead her on, but I was convinced to stay. This happened multiple times. After each time I tried my best to make it work because I what? truly wanted it to work. So no, this didn't just happen out of nowhere. I also didn't make her drive 39 hours back. I asked her what her plan was because I was going to pay for her to ship her car back so she didn't have to drive. Jesse, baby, I know you upset, but we would have made that man pay, okay? <laughs> Whether you would have used the money for that or not, we still taking his money. She made the decision herself, I offered, and I helped her pack her car. The audacity, don't touch my shit. All I want is for us both to move on in peace, but it's very difficult when me and my family are getting death threats every couple of minutes because the relationship didn't work. Can we please be mature about this? All this being said, Jess is an amazing girl, and it hurt me very bad to make this decision because I care about her deeply. I want what's best for her, and me sitting there and staying just to not hurt her feelings would be incredibly selfish of me and destroy me inside. I would like to just focus on myself and my journey with God. I love you all. Child, please. Jessica <laughs> spoke out as well. She said, Reed ended things out of the blue. He said that there was nothing I could say or do to change his mind, which was so weird to me because the morning of and the days before the breakup, we were good. That wasn't Reed first time saying he wanted to end things. He said it twice before, but it was over little stupid stuff, which I thought that we shouldn't end a relationship over small stuff because every relationship isn't perfect. I fought for right. our relationship because that's what love is. Right. Reed has never stressed to me that he genuinely did not want to be with me, but I should have took the first two signs as a flag. Reed said he wasn't rushing me out the Facts, facts. Hey, I had somebody, I was trying to cuff. They kept telling me, like, they kept asking me and telling me, like, why do I want to cuff them? Telling me, like, they're down. <laughs> she said out her about the she ain't ish. I should have taken that, but I didn't. So then when she finally broke, when she finally, like, ended it, it was like, damn, that's crazy, bro. I was really trying to cuff. But I should have taken heed to it. And when she said <laughs> she ain't ish. I should have walked. I should have walked away right there. Sometimes, when we was, it's like, again, when you liking somebody, when you in love with somebody, you do things that you should not be doing. I was heavy liking so I was heavy liking that person. Therefore, I was trying to just, oh, I'm gonna show you that you are something. This position, he's saying, I want to break up. But she's like, nah, let. It's not that. It's not the moment for us to break it. It's not a reason. Like this, something small. But then again, if it was small enough for him to say it. It should have been big enough for you to pay attention to it. Apartment, but I decided to hurry and leave because I would never stay where I'm not wanted. The night we ended things, he did not tell me he wanted to end things because we was moving too fast. All he said was some things just don't work out. So yes, I decided to pack my car and leave and of course I told him my plans. Was there was time. miscommunication with him throughout our relationship and today I just learned from him posting on social media that he thought we were moving too quickly. I'm so glad that this is over. I get to start a new chapter in my life. Thank you to everyone that has supported me and read, but that chapter is done. God bless you all. And another thing, weeks before moving into our new apartment, there was a day where he went to the mall with his fam. I didn't go because I didn't want to spend all my money because I was saving for when I did move. But when he came back home, he said he wanted to end things due to internal issues. Of course, I fought for our relationship when he what? said that. His mom gave me the idea of buying a one-way ticket to Atlanta to determine if the time there would make him want to come back and move into our new apartment or me just to stay there. So, of course, he said he wanted me to stay. He was looking at the trip as me just going there. Mom was giving me the hand like, yeah, like, like, she couldn't, she, she couldn't, this is, she couldn't throw us uh, up under the bus, but she was like, hey, buy one way, don't buy a permanent one. Visit. I asked him, Is That's he crazy, sure boy. he wanted me to come back and move in with him? He said, Yes. He never voiced to me being in the new apartment that we were moving too fast because he himself wanted me to come back and move in the new apartment with him. That's why I'm so confused. So, just telling my side of the story, the breakup was something I wasn't expecting and was very out of the blue. I never meant to convince anyone to stay. It was just never voiced while staying in the new apartment that we were moving too fast. Y'all, leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to that. Jada took the social media after the internet, which dragged her from being caught in a restaurant with her ex little baby people are assuming that they were back together but jada respond when someone asked someone said because you back with that man they caught you jada jada responded y'all are dragging it real bad y'all act like y'all caught us effing or walking out of a damn hotel y'all better leave me the f alone mind you i'm digging out a whole wedgie like bye i cannot someone else said see now i'm fit to get back with mine this just slow it never gave that someone else said we just don't like how y'all say to us oh i'm standing on business and then be the opposite behind closed doors seem like an act but we support you Jada responded, babe, I am grown. I do travel, talk to, entertain, go to lunch with, and don't talk to whoever I want when I want to. Don't let that go over your head. Someone else said, but you're still being a hypocrite is what she's saying. Jada responded, a hypocrite to who? Because I went to get lunch at a public place? Was it hiding with my son's father? Miss me with it. I don't even owe y'all an explanation. I've been single that, for man. a whole year now, and y'all still doing all of this over lunch? Shit's weird. Yeah, like, people, like, people at the end of the day, 
they don't owe y'all or us no explanation about what they're doing, especially when it comes to two people who have a kid together. Me personally, like I said, it's about maturity. If you're dating someone and you get to, you know, catching attitudes or feelings or whatever about them linking up, do shit and date somebody if you're not mature enough to do that, to, to be in that, in that situation. Me, I'm not mature enough for it, so therefore, cause I'm a question. Why are you linking up? <laughs> what do you need to link up for this, with this person for? Why? Only thing that y'all need to talk about is what's going on with the kid, and I can, can do that over a text, a phone call, a FaceTime, something, an email. There's no need for you to link up with this man. But then again, that goes again with maturity and trust, I guess. Yo, give me my phone, give me my phone, give me my phone. Look at this. What's happening? Hold on. Hold on. Stop. No, I want to see them Jerry. Put the finger away. Sir, sir, I like your finger away. Huh? Say what you were saying? Excuse me. No, no, no. No, let me see. Excuse me. You want to be seen? Let me see. Well, hold on. Move back. Excuse me. Bro got like a finger wave with like a mini fro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Hi. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Yo, God bless you. Is that a fro or what, what is that? So God bless you guys as well. Thank you. God bless you and your music. God bless you. She went to your concert. She went to your concert. Who went? You did? Yes. Oh, hi, mama. How are you? Did you like the concert? Did you like the concert? I loved it. I was almost front row. It was beautiful. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I love you so much. I appreciate you guys very much. I had such a good time. Do y'all want more pizza? You want more pizza or anything? Well, y'all go. Y'all finish? Okay. Now back to sir. Now back to sir. Thank you. I'm trying to block the, the, the light out. That's why I'm going through. But what that got to do with us? You got to keep that attitude up. Can I get a, a, a slow motion of your your, slot, your hair? Can I see it? What the fuck? Is that? Nikki, huh? Okay. Can I get a with you? No, babe. No, I gotta run. Okay. Damn, Nikki, you sit right there. So you went in the bottom of pizza, but you went. You ain't willing to take a five second picture. I guess. I guess. <laughs> that sounded a little crazy. You gonna have to still stand there and hey, get look. You sat back down. No, y'all, that man just came up to the security saying he gonna beat them up because he's a pro bo uh, uh, um, boxer. And he would not leave. <laughs> okay. That was, I ain't gonna lie, that was a little weird moment right there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Congratulations.